previously on Lagos Spinsters. Oh my, oh my god, Aisha, how did it happen? I don't know. Just get out. Bro, get out. Don't you shower. What, what the fuck is that? Uh, bye, also. Bye, yo. Sorry, babe. Do you guys know each other? Bye, yo. Babe. Go inside so that we can sort this thing out. So, because your wife is not around, you think you can invite me inside now, ba? See, eh? I just want to stay here. Okay, fine. Just turn it down, please. Turn it down. Shut up, Fred! Just keep quiet. I should have known that you were so much of a coward seeing that your wife slapped you in front of us. Who even marry such a psycho as a wife? Like, I would rather be single than marry such crazy ass. So, you want to play the saint now? Is that what you want to do? Being that you've been fucking my friend. You want to play this card now, Fred? So what if I've been fucking your friend? Last I checked, we, we agreed that we were just... Just what? Babe, just what? Don't tell me you're all up on your feelings right now. Fred, we are nothing. We are fucking nothing, okay? We agreed that we're just going to be FWBs. Or do you want Shadi to slap you to remind you of what that means? So, Bayo, what is he to you then? And how is that your business? But since you're hell bent on knowing, myself and Bayo, we are in a relationship. And you, my dear neighbor, you are, sorry, you were my side nigga. Case closed. You're fuck you. Fuck you, Beatrice. You're fucking still want to hear me. Mm. Thanks for the compliment, baby. You can't deal with this right now. You no know, like break that soon. <laughs> Babe, yeah. What's up with you and Fred? I heard you guys arguing. That one. I beg, it's nothing. Nothing. See, babe, I was with Fred for a reason, and as it stands now, that reason doesn't exist anymore. I didn't even know he was married to some crazy ass woman. Like if I knew, nothing would have happened between us. <sighs> but mother, babe, no get manners at all, oh. <laughs> at all. Crazy bitch. <sighs> Oh, babe, who's your pigeon don't approve of? Oh, please. At least, since you can't cook, it's a good thing that your pigeon is improving. Fuck you. <laughs> but wait, oh. what do you want to do about this bio situation? Or have you guys settled it already? Babe, hey, to be honest, I don't know. And to think that Bio has done everything to make sure this relationship stays alive. I don't know. And you went ahead and fucked his friend. Babe, stop. What? Did I lie? Babe, I didn't know Fred and Bio are friends. Like, I didn't even know they knew each other at all. See, babe, that's not the point. You were in a relationship with this guy and then you had sex with someone else. Saying that you didn't know they were friends, that's just bullshit. And... It's just something I've discovered recently. What's that? Oh, is this rare expression on your face whenever you talk about bio? What expression? See, eh? I know you're a Lagos girl and all, but you see this hard girl shit, you really need to put it down. If you truly like this guy, like if you truly love him, then just apologize to him. I actually do... 
what has this world become? Did you, Beatrice, just admit to loving a man? Hey! What if I did? Crazy things are truly happening. <laughs> hmm. Uh, thank you. Do you want me to? No, I'll do that myself. Thank you. Babe, I'm sorry. Babe. Beatrice. <sighs> I really don't know what you want me to say. I don't know what you expect me to say. I mean, you come to me telling me how you want us to be serious about all this, how you're all in, then I found out that you're sleeping with my friend who is also married. Huh? Babe, I'm sorry. Yeah. Trust me, there's nothing between Fred and myself. There's nothing. Huh. Nothing at all. Yeah, of course, nothing between you and Fred, apart from the part where you're sleeping with him. Yes, I did. But it was just a fling, and, and trust me, I wish I could just take all of that back. And I know I owe you that. I promise you, babe, it's not going to happen again. Please. I don't want to lose you. I don't want... I don't want to lose us. It's been really long since I felt this way. Please. How did he go? The best he could have gone. Uh uh, Mama. <laughs> should we pull up too? Absolutely. <laughs> and it's nothing deep. I'm just going to see a friend. Okay. I'll have be back. Fun. It's a yeah. season. Okay. Is there food? Well, I wanted to thank you in case I forgot for you behaving yourself the other night. Ah, uh, it's nothing. Yeah. Guy, yeah, you didn't even tell me you were in town, no? Mm -hmm. You're still not doing the Dubai runs with the babes. I stopped all that a long time ago. Except you want me to help you with a link up. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> so that my animal play no correct for you, I'll be I beg me. <laughs> but on a serious note, I I I need you to stay away. Like you see, you need to be more discreet because my friends are already looking at me some kind of way and they're gonna start asking me questions I'm not ready to answer. So. Hey, Aisha, just chill out. What do you mean? Well, I guess it's too late for that now. Pourquoi? I'm guessing Beatrice hasn't had a chat with you yet. We're back together. And I don't see that changing anytime soon. Oh, but is she aware this is a fluke? No, it's not. You're kidding. 
I see you, Aisha. I love Beatrice. I honestly don't know why you stay stressed out because, man, you're out of the game already, of aren't you? Of course, I'm off. I don't do that anymore. It's like, right now, I'm just, huh, I, I have just the, the, the new business I'm doing. I'm out of you the know, game. I don't need to know how you're making your money. Nobody really cares these days. Oh. Nancy, what's up? Mm -hmm. Why are you smiling? I don't remember the last time you looked all groovy. You know what? I was going to say the exact same thing. <clears throat> you know you guys really need to learn to mind your business, right? Spill now. I am 100% sure there is a new man. It's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> you see? We know you like the back of our hands. Right. Never wrong. <laughs> He's so sweet and handsome and he's hot. And guess what? Hmm, I'm meeting him later. Aww, okay. that's my girl. <laughs> I just hope he's the let's keep it simple kind of guy. Like, to be honest, we need to start taking our lives seriously. To be honest, we all deserve real love. Especially with, eh, with waiting our eyes on see for this Lagos man. <laughs> man. Oh, man. You all need not worry, because this one's a keeper. Okay. <laughs> That's what I want to hear. Uh, I know we're meeting him. You know, this is this is the, this is what happens all the time. Babe, Nancy has left already. Mm hmm Yeah. Mm. Okay. You wanna join me? No, I'm fine. I've had enough. Babe, have you have you heard from Dindu? Or have you seen him? No. Huh. Why? I was a bit stressed out too, and I gave Dindu my car to go for for me. You gave Dindu your car to drive. Why are you gonna repeat something I tell you now? <laughs> Babe. Okay. So what's up with your car now? I don't know. I gave him my car since 6 p.m. Now it's 8 p.m. and I've not even heard anything from him. He's still not back. He's just not made you learn, Abby. Say life flow sweet. They lie. Ah! Front. How? This is a fat parachute. Mm -hmm. Shoot me. I die. Ah, ah, easy, easy. How can you give somebody so dense something as delicate as your car? So this is the way you use my car to dindu. Dindu? Mm -hmm. So not be your house with this. Even the car. No, I do Mindy, you are not get your time this night. Mindy, love. Mindy, love. Oh. Auntie. You don't ginger me, I swear. You don't ginger me, die. Chai. Life's uh. sweet, though. Sweet, die. How? You know, say, eh? As I change toothpaste, now I confirm, say, through me, this life sweet. Hi. Dindu. Mm? I don't get time for your rubbish this night, so you day lucky. Give me my key. Give me my keys. Give me my car. I know they like this too. Mm? Is this it? Mm? <laughs> You are you stupid? You almost vomited on me. Are you, are you crazy, didn't you? No offense, no offense. No, no, no. No, be my fault. Na devil, no. Na devil. I did my own. I ain't devil. Bring Shayo Weko. Give me now a drink. No offense. Didn't you? Yes. You had the ghost to carry me in my car. You came back late drunk. I, I, I'll deal with you later. I see. I see. 
Don't don't don't, don't, don't touch me. Don't come visit me again, though. Hey, I think we are the. I think we are the. Nancy, did you see that you actually rushed back home the other day because you wanted to? get your car to lend him money to fix his car. That's exactly what I said. Why would you even lend him money though? Because his ATM was not with him that day and he said his bank app wasn't working. And you give him your card? Why, why would you give him your card, Nancy? Why are you saying like it's such a bad thing? <sighs> it's nothing at all. It's just... To be honest, I wish you both well. It's just that... I just feel like there's something fishy about that film. Um, what, what's his name again? Mike. <laughs> Mike. To be honest, I just feel like there's something fishy. Like, you guys have barely dated for no more than two weeks and you're already lending him money. It's not supposed to be the other way around. Babe, you can either try to be happy for me and my relationship or not sound so displeasing about it. Nancy, just chill out. It's, it's fine. I wish you both the, the best. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl. Um, did Nancy tell you why she rushed back home the other night? Not really. But the gist of it was she and Mike were stranded, I think. Can you imagine that Mike actually asked her for her card? Saying that he needed to fix his car and he wasn't with his card. Like, I just feel like that excuse was so flimsy. So basically she lent him money. Exactly. My thoughts exactly. So what's wrong with that? There could have been a good reason for it. <sighs> See, I've lived in Lagos long enough and I know Lagos men. Trust me. Yeah? 70% of relationships that start up that way, most of the time, those men, they <laughs> are not what they claim to be. Come on now. Relationship expert. <laughs> Babe, I'm serious. You know what? Never mind. See, I just feel like... I just feel like there's something fishy about this Mike guy. Bruh, the only fish I'm interested in is the one I just grilled. It's the fridge. So you can go eat if you're hungry. <laughs> Thank you. You're, You're welcome. I know. I'm awesome. <laughs> you expecting anybody? Um, yeah. Oh, shoot. I said it's coming. Hmm. No. Fine. I'm not your nanny or your little house girl. What's wrong with you? Hey, babe. How you doing? Um, babe, this is Aisha. Um, Aisha, this is Bayer. Oh, hi. N nice to meet you. Yeah. Let me go get my shoes in my bag. Oh, baby. Okay. Oh. Dude, what the fuck? We discussed about this. Aisha, I think it's best if you keep your cool for your sake. Oh, my sake. Are you mad or something? Say bye. If you're not about to just... Hello. Oh, hi. You must be by your right? Mm-hmm. How are you doing? I'm good. Okay. I'm guessing you're having a great time. Mm, not bad. That's nice. All right. Hey, babe. Baby, you ready? Okay, off we go. Yep. Off we go. Right. Bye. Have fun. Bye. Aisha. Have a nice day. So, Aisha, what's up with you? What's happening? 
Does it look like something is wrong? Oh, yes, it did. Because it seems like you and Bayo were trying to hatch out something. What the fuck are you even talking about? Because it seems to me that you already know Bayo and this is not the first time you're seeing him. Nancy, didn't I say don't get brain torture? You better mind your business and stop trying to build bridges where roads should not exist. You know what? If you're idle or something, go and call on Michael, probably even just give him some more money. Stupid.